North South Corridor project uh, is one of the mega project in Singapore. I try to record it. So this is the videos taken in December. First is near Yishun, uh, package N111 is the main Kang Sanyong. So this slip road from the SLE coming down, uh, they done the diversion quite successfully. You can see the the line marking being erased off just now. When I'm driving, if I didn't pay attention, I didn't notice that the road is being diverted. On the right hand side, you can see the red color cello already stand up, some mobile crane, some boring rig. So this is the slip road to merge onto the SLE. Uh, but I'm not, uh, no, I'm not taking the SLE. Instead, I'm continue going straight to go to next zone of the, of the North South Corridor. Due to construction, the traffic limit is 50. So uh, this is still part of the Sanyong scope, but uh, after this junction, it will be the Lam Chang scope. Uh, the job is moving quite fast. Uh, I can see the there's a lot of change for the past one year. So after this junction, uh, it will be the Lam Chang uh, area. Next package one one zero uh armor cube Lam Chang. Lam Chang uh they have mobilized in a lot of machinery which give me a very impressive feel. So that uh, the lamp marking also is carried out. You can see that the uh, different color and the sum on the line you raise off bus. So this one I feel is more challenging because it's uh, swing left and right of the of the MRT uh, tunnel. So there will be a lot restraint of the railway protection. So you can see now we swing to the left hand side of the MRT track then after some time we are swing back to the right hand again so you see the right can, uh, left hand side a lot of cello and the, some of the soil treatment soil treatment and the, the equipment so the armor Q avenue 3 it's going to reach the Yuchu Kang the MRT station uh, along this area um, I think the main job is to carry out is the soil, so GI ground improvement work, as well as the uh, service diversion, as well as the some of the the ERSS wall installation. The actual excavation work I think will only start in late part of the two thousand twenty one. For this uh, package one one zero, one more challenge is is the slope protection. Uh, further down is the Amokyo Town Park. So there I see they are using some lean concrete to protect the slope because they have to do some the steep open cut to prepare for the ground work. So you can see the few overhead pedestrian bridge. I foresee that in the near future they will be all demolished. Right hand side you can see that the cello and uh, I can see there is one uh, elephant, uh, elephant bomb is doing some casting. They are all using part of the part of the of the park area. So you can see the cello on the right hand side. Then both left and hand, right hand is work, um, working. A uh, north barrier is putting in very systematic way to protect the neighbor from the noise pollution. Uh, death wall machine. And you can see in front one the soil improvement of GI work. So again, noise barrier. The the work is carried on the right hand side. Then the the traffic will be further separate away. This portion is still is on grid. Is sorry, is on higher. So I think that they are preparing for the foundation to the to the work. So this is still part of the Lam Chang. They are still doing this area. Next one will be the Shanghai Tunnel, uh, Armor Q at the package 109A. So, Armor Q area, they recently, these few years, came up some high rise, the HDB, which come to close to 40 story. 
and uh, this zone I think that uh, due to the mature town uh, there will be a lot a lot of the uh, people pedestrian jogging much jogging people uh, the traffic control and the, the interfacing with the pedestrian will be very challenging so in front of us is the uh, Amokyo Bishan uh, Park it's a very long stretch of the park and uh, walking here is not a joke, not an easy thing. Uh, so I think the contractor have to put up a lot of engineering solution to overcome it. So I'm heading to the the Amokyo Bishan Park. So this this stretch don't have work, but I just want to show you the length of the park. Next one is the next one is the saucepan, sauce to northbound. So this time we'll be starting. This time we'll be we'll be starting from the Shanghai Tunnel one first one o nine a. So uh, this is the on the right left hand side you can see the work zone. So I'm turning to the the red turning red so this junction is the main working area this area all is all will be the tunneling so will be all will be underground that's why uh, the work will be more challenging it's fast forwarding that's why you see on the right hand side the people are working in a uh, very fast pace because even by the normal speed of the video this uh, it will be very it will be very time consuming for you to see. On the right hand side, the area actually the tennis court in the in the before, but uh, I think that they managed to TL, TOL it over and using for the site. Uh, this is the coming in front will be Lam Chang already. You can you see the Lam Chang logo at the crash barrier. Draw the crash barrier. One one zero Lam Chang. So Cello. Uh, this portion is done by doing by L and M Foundation. Uh, so the death wall machine seems quite new, and the, the working area is really very narrow. They are barely in between the in between the southbound and northbound the road. CSC Group is a listed company in SGX. So it's continue going down the the basically. Uh, the, the job scope is well confined within the two sets. Two sets is all the HDB blocks and the school and other facility. So the working zone is actually very small, very narrow working area. It will be the challenging. That's why it will be more interesting to see how they are getting it done smoothly and safely. So that's something really very challenging and uh, will worth the follow up so this kind of the overhead bridge very overhead bridge very soon will be old fashioned and they will be replaced with the underground connection way or whatever other ways because this kind of area the stability will be disturbed I think the best way to remove up, remove them demolish them so we are crossing over the, with the real way again the crash barrier is all installed by the contractors. Uh, this is, will be the part of their working scope. So you can see the work on the left hand side and the right hand side. Okay, so uh, this is the Yu Chu Kang road. After this road will be no more Lam Chang already. The one will be the scope of work for Sanyung. Sanyung after bought over by the Middle East company, they start to secure more jobs in Singapore. Because civil work is actually considered a quite high risk job. So there must be some cash flow to cater for the risk. Okay, meaning it must be a lot for some mistake in one project and then try to earn back in the next project.
Okay, uh, San Yong, uh, every day I went home, I drive the, along this road. So San Yong is the, the one that I see most. I must say they have a very good planning in the road diversion. So they do it very seamlessly and they do the road diversion when everybody is in the sleep. So when second day you, you wake up and you just follow the landmarking and drive and you really didn't feel much of the inconvenience. In front of this uh, death more machine is quite special. Uh, if I have time, I want to learn because every time it's hung by some of the color queens. So this is the SLE. We are going underneath the SLE. So this is Yishun Avenue 1, Sri Ta Road, I think. So the orange color cello and this area all is the land being switched and, and they are going to work in the center. It's something very similar like what's happening at the Lam Chang area. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what's going to the package after the N111 because I only can follow up until Yishun. Uh, after Yishun, there still will be some connection until the Wulan. So I will try to figure it out and uh, learn from there and share with everybody. Thank you.